Welcome to another version of Fun with Phones, and in this episode we're going to talk about a Bulgarian of People's Republic of Bulgaria, TAP-77 field phone. This is, uh, it follows the standard uh, <laughs> for uh, basically Warsaw Pack and a lot of European cell phones, Bakelite case carrying strap. Um, it's got a hand crank magneto on here with this retractable handle, so you don't have to physically remove and put it back and forth. Uh, battery compartments right here. We'll talk about that later because this has got an interesting feature on it. We'll go ahead and open it up. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's got the instru operating instructions here in uh, acrylic and uh, the phonetic alphabet. Not a whole lot of settings on this. The handset has a, uh, a push to talk on it. You have to be careful it locks. Um, it's got three binding posts on it. Two of them are for uh, connecting it like you normally would. The third one is a ground one. Uh, this is a selector switch here. I'm not quite familiar with what exactly it does, but you take these screws out and you flip this over and put it back down. And I'm thinking that's how you make it common battery or local battery, but I'm not sure. I don't have a manual on it, so we'll look at that later. Um, this is interesting. These are made by a company called Kindex in Bulgaria, and these are actually made for the piece of the Warsaw Pack. This one was made in 1980. I'm thinking they were probably 1970s, 80s, 90s. They were used. They do, like I said, I think they have a common battery mode. You can remove the handset if you want to. This plug pops right out. The interesting thing is this company, Kindex, also manufactured a bunch of these for the Iraqi army. So you'll see them coming from Iraq and uh, they're about the same phone except all the operating plates are in English and usually this runs on a giant huge 9 volt battery for the uh, Bulgarian Warsaw Pack model the ones that were made for the Iraqis actually operate on 6 C cell batteries and the battery compartment's interesting you just unscrew this little plug right here which has got a little seal that it, it compresses you pull it out and you pull the battery pack out and that's it right there and like I said, this one is actually, I've got a normal 9 volt battery in this one, but the one that was made for the Iraqi Army actually holds six C cell batteries. And it just slides right in there like that, as such. And you put the plug back in there and push it down tight. There we go, didn't get it in there right. And we'll go ahead and crank it down tight. Now the reason this uses a 9 volt battery, because like the other Soviet Union or in the Warsaw Pack phones, it's actually got transistor amplifiers in it, so that way you need more voltage to make it work, hence 9 volts. Um, it's got the feature right here in the handset, it's, or excuse me, the cover, it's got this rubberized gasket here. This allows you to run the handset cord through it and the field wire cord and operate it with the cover closed if you wanted to do so. I'm going to shut down right now and I'm going to hook it up to a Soviet TA-57 and we'll make some calls. Okay, I got it hooked up to a, a TA-57. We'll make some phone calls. This is a 9-volt battery I was telling you about to fit in that compartment. Pretty good size. This one's deader than dead, period, dead, dead, dead. So I basically replaced it with a modern 9-volt battery and a little holder that it goes in. Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll make a call from the uh, TAP-77 to the TA-57 just by cranking. So that's pretty much standard. Now I'll go ahead and I'll call back the other way. I'll call from the TA-57 to the TAP-77. Interesting. It's noted it doesn't have a, a mechanical ringer. It's actually got a beeper in it. And that's uh, one of the reasons you have to have all the batteries. Like I said, there's 9 volts. It's got, I think, three transistors. I don't want to be quoted on that. Um, a lot of the, the Soviet phones that came out around that time have transistors in it. And they use 10-volt, 9-volt battery packs. So... That's basically how this one worked. Um, like I said, it's got this piece right, rubber piece right here. This is hard a little bit, where you could actually run the field wire through and a handset through, close the lid and operate it closed. This uh, TAP77 will operate with all the Soviet phones I have, Warsaw Pack phones, and also all the NATO phones I have. So, and that's it. So, thanks for watching. This is the Bulgaria, or excuse me, the People's Republic of Bulgaria, TAP. 77 field phone.